I've had a lot of questions in the comment sections of my videos. What is my drop shot setup? What rod and reel do I use? What baits do I use? Weights? How long is my leader length? Do I use a swivel, a connection knot? Why do I do this or that? Yeah, so today we are going to go over that. Um, Just to start off, we're going to move this and you will see that the reel that I use is the Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 3000 FA. This is the second generation. Uh, I do have the second and the third generation, but I like the second generation better. Uh, now with that 3000 size, you're going to be able to hold more line on your reel and it's going to give you a little bit farther of a cast. Plus, I do like the extra line capacity. Um, the Stratic, it's always a great finesse reel. Now that Stratic is paired up with a 7 foot St. Croix Triumph medium light power fast action and I feel like that medium light rod is critical for well not critical but very important for the drop shot setup and then I almost forgot to mention that the specifications on the rod is four to ten pound test and eighth ounce to half ounce now I'm going to get to why that is important in a minute but like I said for the line you have your braid okay and the line that I like to use is original power pro it is 20 pound power pro braid but it has the diameter of regular six pound test okay now i do braid to fluorocarbon and the fluorocarbon that i do with that is eight pound test by excuse me sunline sniper fc eight pound test okay so and i've had a lot of people ask me well why do i use a swivel to connect my braid to fluorocarbon why don't i just do a connection knot and the answer is simple i do not like my connection knot for one and two you're not going to get any line twist now like there's like three ways that I've done this. You can do, you know, a big polymer knot and leave a long tag end. You can do a pre-rig drop shot by Gamagatsu, which I don't really like. Or you can use a VMC spin shot. And I have been using these and I do like these a lot. Uh, you get a really good hookup. It lasts long. I mean, if you don't like tying a polymer knot or you're new to a drop shot, you can use this. But the more that I fish this, the more that I like this. I mean, yeah, you have the wire there. You have to tie a knot at the top and the bottom. But I do like it a lot. And everyone that I have so far got to convince to try, they like this as well. Okay, now I don't want to make this all over the place. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys a little trick. You don't have to do it but I do like to do it sometimes. So you'll see there that you have your spin shot hook, okay? Now you'll notice sometimes that when you get it out of the package that the hook is not, you know, it's not straight. It's kind of bent down. And sometimes you'll get it to where it's bent down to the point where you don't like it. So if you want it to be a little straighter for maybe a little bit better of a hookup, one cool thing you can do is you can take a pair of pliers. Does anybody remember the Craftsman Robo Grip? Anyway, take a pair of pliers, hold your hook, grab onto the top of your hook, and just bend it a little bit. Not too much, okay? You bend it to where it'll straighten that hook a little bit. Now, you don't have to do that, but like I said, I will do that once in a while. If I don't like how much the hook was bent, okay? So, like I said... The 20 pound braid goes to the swivel. You will see right there how you have your braid to the top of the swivel and then your fluorocarbon to the bottom of the swivel, okay? Now, if you get used to not reeling it up into the guides, you'll be good. Um, I actually heard about this size six rolling swivel from Ben Nowak and I like it a lot, like I've said, but anyway, so you have that, and then from the hook to the weight, which I'm going to get to in a minute, I leave 18 inches, okay? Usually anywhere from 16 to 20 inches, but I 18 inches is where I go. Now for those weights, the majority of the time, I am using the Strike King Torgrade Tungsten 3 8 drop shot weight. Uh, it's a teardrop weight. I've tried ball, I've tried cylinder. Now one thing I will tell you, is that when there's a lot of weeds and stuff, I will use a cylinder, either a quarter ounce or a three-eighths, but the majority of the time, I am throwing that three-eighths weight. I have the most confidence with it. It's what I like, and 
it can pull through basically whatever you're fishing and you won't have a ton of issues with it. Now I have had a couple times, not a lot, but a couple times where the tag end, like if I leave a really short tag end, the weight will come off, but you just leave a little bit longer of a tag end, should be good. And then just to show you guys for an example, you do have three weights right here, okay? You have, on the right, you have a quarter ounce, and you have a three-eighths, you have a half ounce, like I said. The three-eighths is the one that I use and prefer. Now, I did pick up some of the half ounce weights. Pretty sure I'm not going to use them, but I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so you have that. Now, for the baits, my two favorite baits is the Kitek Easy Shiner and the Guggen Baits Drag and Drop. Now, I do get people that give me crap all the time. Oh, why do you use the Drag and Drop? It's too expensive. They don't last. This is a $4 bait. It's the stores that charge the 2 or $3 extra. But anyway, this right here is the watermelon red color. And let me tell you what. You guys know that I like the Morning Dawn for largemouth and stuff. Well, Smallies love the watermelon red. They really do. That's right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on. Now one thing that you are going to notice with your drag and drop is that they are not going to last long, okay? They're going to last usually for one to two fish and that's it. Now if you see on the bait where it says, you know, Guggen, if you go to the first O, I've found that if you put the hook into the bait, just like so, that is usually like right where I like to have it. Now of course, a bait that has salt and sauce is not going to want to stand up the entire time and a bait that is just plastic with not much scent or salt is going to stand up better now i have had people ask me with the spin shot do i notice that the bait stands up differently with the spin shot than it does with like a one-out mosquito hook or even a pre-rigged drop shot does it stand up differently like I said, that depends on the bait you're using, but I have not noticed much of a difference. Um, this right here, this will do the job. This is great. Uh, this is actually the reason why I got into throwing a drop shot was because of this. I tried the other methods, and I keep going back to this. That is just, that's what I like. So anyway, I do like the Sight Flash and the Silver Flash Minnow. And then I have been, uh, I use the, what do you call it, the Jackal Crosstail Shad up north a few times. I like that bait a lot. But this Gary Yamamoto Shad Shape Worm in the perch color, I haven't caught anything on this yet, but do me a favor and let me know in the comments. Do me a favor and let me know in the comments if you have. Because I know, you know, perch, smallmouth bass, it's going to work. It's going to catch fish. I just haven't yet. And then the Beast Coast Magic Flick in the Pro Smoke color. Look at that. That's another good bait. Again, haven't caught any fish on it. I've just really been throwing the drag and drop in the Kytex, but it is what it is. Looks good. You know, and another thing, too, people will ask me is they will say, well, have I ever used straight fluorocarbon for a drop shot? Yes, I have. Will it work? Yes. Will it do the job? Yes. But why do I use the braid to fluorocarbon? Braid has no stretch. Okay, braid has very low memory. Braid is very sensitive. Now, 
I wouldn't throw it on straight braid, but when you connect a leader to it, you're going to give, you know, fluorocarbon has close to the same light refractive properties as water. So when you put that fluorocarbon leader onto your braid, you're going to have all that strength and sense strength and sensitivity excuse me and then you're going to have That's a decent fish for sure. I need you guys to do me a favor. Leave me a comment in the section below. What is your favorite rod and reel for a drop shot? What are your favorite drop shot baits? I know you guys are going to give me some suggestions. I know you guys have in the past some things I've tried in the past. They've worked. But if you guys haven't tried the Easy Shiner or the Dragon Drop, try those. I really think you're going to like them. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the couple of fish catches, and I think I'm going to eh, slow it down for a few days, and the next video should should be, not guaranteed, should be, what have I learned after 300 videos? I will see you guys next time.